tip here, stupid gardener. Welcome back. Beautiful day here in North Carolina. It's going to be almost up to like uh, 70 degrees. And today we're working on uh, uncovering our ever bearing strawberries. So stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, we have um, got all the straw off the uh, top of our strawberry uh, bed here. So our ever bearing strawberries are uncovered. And uh, this part here was the old bed from last year. And uh, what I did is I thinned this out um, a lot and I took a lot of the runners from here and I planted them over here. So when these should be spreading out all through the spring and summer and by the end of the summer into the fall, this whole bed should be covered with our, uh, our strawberry plants. And we are hoping for a good year of our ever-bearing uh, strawberries. Okay, so uh, believe it or not, we are about one month away from uh, planting our raised garden bed. It's uh, mid-March, so about mid-April, we'll start uh, getting our garden ready to be planted. And uh, it just seems like we just uh, finished taking our garden down, and now it's time to uh, start all over um, again. So uh, it's just a beautiful day here in North Carolina. Um, so I was able to get out and get the lawn mowed, get some nice greens into our compost uh, bins back there. So, uh, so far, so good. And uh, so on these ever-bearing strawberries, uh, like I said, these are um, a year old. So they have a year of uh, maturity. Um, last year we got some, not a lot, but uh, we had enough that we could eat, uh, just the two of us. And we're kind of hoping for this year, these, these ever-bearing strawberries will really um, grow and we'll really get a bunch of strawberries um, on them. Um, now, if you were watching last year, that old bed that we had was just totally covered uh, with uh, ever-bearing strawberries. And, I mean, it got up real high and they really sent out a lot of runners, a lot more runners than I thought that they would. Uh, but that's kind of a lesson uh, to be learned. Um, so I really thinned them out this year, this fall, and I, you know, that's when I transplanted some, and I'm hoping for the same thing. And the ones that I transplanted, I kept them kind of small because they are gonna be sending out runners. And uh, so we should get um, a pretty good crop this year, I hope, on these um, ever-bearing uh, strawberries. Um, now I just gotta watch um, over the next couple of weeks um, for uh, squirrels and rabbits. Uh, we had a problem last year with a lot of rabbits in our yard, so, um, I haven't seen any this year. I've checked with some of the neighbors to see if they've seen any rabbits jumping around and they haven't seen any yet. So over the next month, uh, we probably really need to be putting up our uh, bird netting here uh, to protect our strawberries from the birds, as well as the uh, rabbits or any other um, things that are crawling around the yard that'll get in there and do any damage to our ever-bearing strawberries. Um, so like I said, this is our second year uh, doing these ever-bearing strawberries. So it'll be interesting to see how these uh, strawberries do in their second year. And um, just remember with these ever-bearing strawberries, um, you're gonna get a, um, a group of strawberries uh, that you'll be able to pick in the late spring, and then in the summer, and then in the fall. So it's a very good um, strawberry plant um, to, uh, to grow. Um, uh, there's a lot of strawberry plants that you can just put in yearly, and you gotta pull them, you gotta plant them again. Um, so, but these here, you know, you, you, uh, you buy them once, you plant them, and you just keep thinning them out and um, taking the runners and replanting them. And then, then when the old growth kind of di um, dies off, you just pull those and just get, ri get rid of them. Um, so um, we'll just see how we, uh, we do this year with these ever-bearing strawberries. Looking forward to see exactly um, what we get out of them in our second year. So if you have planted ever-bearing strawberries, I would love to um, hear how um, you have done over the years and um, what kind of crop you got in your second year and third year and fourth year and um, onward. Um, and if you haven't planted them, if you have any questions, just put them down below and I'll try and answer what I can answer. If not, hopefully someone else will see them and can hop in and answer your questions. And um, if you're not a subscriber to The Stupid Gardener, um, just stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button and just uh, follow along this uh, growing season of uh, 2021. Um, so, and if um, also if you're on Instagram, I do have an Instagram uh, channel. It's called the.stupid.gardener. Uh, follow along. We put pictures up there of uh, what's going on here in the uh, backyard and uh, 
and uh, we'll put pictures up as a garden as we plant and uh, of our wildflowers uh, back uh, behind here uh, that we're going to be uh, growing again this year. It'll be interesting to see how those come up. So I guess I will sign off from here. I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope everyone has a great day. So this is a tip from The Stupid Gardener. Everyone take care. God bless everybody. Hey folks, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, follow along. We'll see you on the next one.